Hello, this is Aaron with AnetComputers.com. Hola, este es Aaron con AnetComputers.com. With another video for you, today I filed this under Computers and Technology, Film Editing, How to Save Video into Different Files with AVI Demux. I was recently asked to convert some existing camcorder video footage into multiple video files. One stumbling block was that two different camcorders were used. Also, I had to work with two different video file types, .move and .avi. Currently, I like to use OpenShot Video Editor for basic editing of videos. However, I don't think this program allows you to cut and then save new video files without converting them. Cutting and then saving video into new files can save a lot of time. I was able to easily cut and then save new video files with AVI Demux, which is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. This saved me lots of time waiting for these files to go through a conversion process. This is how I quickly made new video files from existing .avi files without converting them. Start AVI Demux and then click on open to browse to a video file you want to work with. AVI Demux supports many file types including .avi, DVD, compatible MPEG files, .mp4, and .asf. You may receive this error when trying to open some video file types. H264 detected. If the file is using B frames as reference, it can lead to a crash or stuttering. AVI Demux can use another mode, which is safe, but you will lose frame accuracy. Do you want to use that mode? Click on yes or use safe mode. Once your video file is loaded, you will then mark your points where you want to cut and save a new video file. On a timeline, move to that time or frame that you want your new video file to start. Click on a button with an A below your timeline or select edit from menu and then select set marker A. This now marks your selection start. Now move on that timeline to time or frame that you want your new video file to end. Click on a button with a B below your timeline or select edit from menu and then select set marker B. This now marks your selection end. You can select file then save or click on a save button on toolbar to save your new video file. You can also press control S. A select file to save dialog will open. Browse to where you want to save your file. Also name your new file in a name box. You will see a done file has been successfully saved pop-up window. Click OK. You have now just created a new video file without reconverting. Length of time for AVI Demux to save that new file depends on size of your new video file and speed of your computer. You can download AVI Demux from their downloads page. And then I will show you real quick. So you open up AVI Demux, click on open, browse to a file that you a video file that you want to open up this is that error message click on use safe mode now your timeline is right here where my cursor is at so I'm going to start and mark a you just press on a here where it says selection start or you click on edit set marker a whichever you prefer so I'm gonna click on a then I'm gonna move about half this video is a little bit over three minutes so to save time I'll just stop at one minute and 26 seconds then you can click on B to select and or you can click edit and set marker B I'll just click B and as you can see both marker points are set now then you can either hit control s or click on save or hit file save so we can just click on save drop down appears I'll just select this video that I opened and hit a 2 and click save and it only take a second done so that file is saved and you just created another video without going through the file conversion process and that's all you have to do 
with AVI Demux, that saves you a lot of time. Otherwise, when you go to cut or cut out video segments from an existing file, if you have to go and then reconvert that file, it can take a long time. And then depending on the speed of your computer, and then also obviously the file size. This was a short file size, only 3 minutes and 3 seconds. That's why it didn't take that long to save. Hopefully, this information was productive. You can always browse to anacomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.